All right, so if you've been following my channel for the past few months, you know that I have been building that bad boy right back there behind me that is called, I'm calling it the kayak camping trailer. It's an awesome fun rig that we've got a rooftop tent owning. If you followed along, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link a playlist right here. You can see the full build up until this point. I've only got a few videos left of that trailer. We're gonna do a few more mods to it, and then we're just gonna finish that series, that build series off. We're still gonna film some adventures of me using it, but as for the build, I'm fixing to cut that one short. But that brings me to now, I've got about three projects going on in the shop right now, and I really don't know what I wanna film for you guys, and I wanted to ask you today what you wanted to see. I've got a uh, trailer here behind me, up under that blue Hobie. I wanna build that trailer out as a single kayak trailer without all the bells and whistles, so I don't have to worry about it you know, getting messed up. I can just hook it up to the truck real quick and take it off, but it's an old boat trailer I wanna convert here on the channel. I wanna see if you guys are interested in that. The Blue Hobie, I've actually got to fix it for a customer. Uh, it's leaking, not a customer, a subscriber reached out to me and asked me if I'd work on his boat. It's got a leak on it. They've been trying to fix it for months. They've had two or three shops look at it. They can't get it to stop leaking or take it on water. So I'm gonna to attempt to fix it for them. I may film that for you if you're interested. If you're interested, hit, hit me up in the comments and let me know. But mainly I wanna show you guys that right there. <laughs> That is an old golf cart that I have been working on in the shop. I haven't really been filming it. It's just been kind of a little side project going on, but I think I'm gonna convert it into something I'm gonna call the camping cart. All right, so this is what I'm gonna convert into what I'm gonna call the camping cart. Now, this is an old 1990 Easy Go Marathon golf cart. It's a 36 volt golf cart. I got it, a little backstory I'll give you on the golf cart real quick. It's been in the family for years. It's my father-in-law's when we went to visit for Thanksgiving this year. Uh, he, he got a new one, so he asked if we wanted it. The, it's been in the family forever, so when my when my kids every year would go, as they were growing up, they would go visit their grandparents in Virginia, and this is what they played on all the time. They rode it all over the property, they flipped it. I'll throw some pictures up right here. You can see what it looked like when I picked it up at Thanksgiving. They destroyed the top on it, the windshield's gone, but since we've gotten back off camera, I haven't filmed any of this, and it just kind of come to me that y'all might be interested, so I'm gonna let you know, but uh, I, off camera, I put a dropped axle lift on it last week. I put these really cool wheels and tires I found on Amazon, and I've got the idea to turn this thing into the camping cart. So what I'm, my plan is, is to have a cart. So when we go camping at like state parks, we love to go to Gunnersville State Park. Our kids were raised up every summer. We'd spend a few weeks every year at Gunnersville State Park. And we always seen some couples there with these really cool golf carts riding around. And I think that's what we're gonna do with this one. I want to be able to haul multiple fishing rods down to the lake. I wanna be able to actually hook up to my Hobie without a trailer. Since I've got the boondock system on this kayak, I wanna rig something up so that I can fold my boondocks down hook the front of my kayak up to this cart and have my wife just drive me from the campsite, you know, whichever campsite we're at, down to the water, let me go fishing, and then I call her and she can come pick me back up when I'm done fishing on the golf cart. So I wanna do a lot of cool stuff to this. I wanna do LED lights. I've got some seat covers here that we're gonna wrap. Uh, I'm gonna redo the seats. I wanna wrap the whole kayak, do a radio. So just some really cool stuff. So if this is something that you guys would be interested in watching me build, let me know. I know it's not kayak related, but it's gonna be something that we are gonna use when we go camping. This is mainly just to run around campgrounds and have fun. So I'm gonna call it the camping cart. I'm gonna film a little bit you know, of the process of me building it. If it's something you're interest, interested in, hit me up in the comments, let me know. If you're not interested, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. Just tell me you just wanna see kayak stuff. I've got a trailer to build. That I'm gonna convert an old trailer. I'm gonna film that for you guys. We're gonna build it out to be a single Hobie. You know, just this is just gonna be for my Hobie Pro Angler 14. I wanna rig it up so that it's, it's just a basic trailer that I can grab by the front and wheel it around. I've got to extend the front tongue on it so that it'll be long enough for this trailer, this kayak, but I'm gonna do all that. I'm gonna film all that for you, but this thing right here, I think it's got a lot of potential. I'm gonna convert it to lithium. I, I wanna do all that stuff. I did not know that there is an underground world for these, ki these uh, not kayaks, these golf carts, where these guys are fixing them up. 
there's a, there's a few people on YouTube that do wheelies with their golf cart with lithium batteries. So I'm not gonna go that extreme, but I do wanna rig this thing out, make it dependable and make it something cool that we can run around the ponds and the lakeside and do a lot of cool fishing. So let me know in the comments what you think about this build if you wanna see it. If you do wanna see it and you've got ideas, I'm new to this, let me know. Uh, if you've done one of these before and you're watching this, hit me up in the comment section. I, I need ideas for this thing. So feel free to just Comment all you want. I will read every one of them and I'll get back to you and let you know. And if I like the idea, I'll let you know. We'll stick it on here and uh, I might even give you a shout out whenever we do the mod to this thing. So that is it. That is, uh, this is gonna be a really cool build. Uh, I guess I can show you, I'll give you a walk around real quick before I end the video, show you the wheels, show you the lift and a few other things that I've added. I, I've already mocked up some rod tubes in the back to hold rods, and the back end of this thing is perfect. I, I took a Sawzall and cut off where the golf bags used to go, the little the holder back there. I got rid of it, but it that little pocket back there is perfect for my angle cooler, so I'll show you that real quick. So I guess I could also show you the trailer that I'm gonna be working on. Uh, this is it right here. As you can see, that it's already black from like the tongue up, but one of the issues that I had when I picked it up, I actually bought it from a friend of mine who was, he started the restoration on it, got all the rust off, painted it really well, and then changed his mind. So I picked it up from him, which is cool because it saved me a whole lot of work. But the tongue has been extended quite a few times. Like I believe it was extended here at one point, and then here, and then here. And it's got an inch and seven eighths uh, hitch on the front of it, which I want to go to a two inch ball because that's two inch and everything else I own is a two inch ball. So what I ordered, I found this on Amazon and I know I'm getting off the subject with this cart. I'll show it to you in just a minute, but I found this two and a half inch by Kurt receiver. Let's see if I can show you what it looks like. It's a tube receiver. This is four feet long. So my plan is to cut off right at that last black spot on the trailer and we're going to extend the tongue and put a new two inch receiver or whatever hitch on the front of it that way uh, we can extend the trailer a little bit because if we cut it here at this weld that's only about two and a half three foot there the four footer should bring us back out to right in here which if you've ever had a kayak trailer like a single kayak trailer that they're in there this narrow you want it really long for backing up and actually being able to see it behind your truck. So anyway, that's gonna be coming up. I've got fenders ordered, a light kit ordered. I'm gonna do some really cool stuff with the, uh, the poles sticking up on the side so that I can load and unload this thing by myself. But that's coming up in a future video. So is this kayak. This thing, there's where someone's tried to repair it. So apparently the leak on this old Outback is right in here somewhere. He said it takes on a lot of water. So I'm hoping that the leak is not right here where the Mirage drive kicks in, but I'm gonna clean this thing up and uh, check it out, see if I can fix it for him. Uh, and if I can, I'll film it and show you guys exactly how I done it. But here is the camping cart. So since I picked it up from them, I found another golf cart from a buddy of mine and had a good top on it. So I've replaced the top. I do plan on painting the top. We're gonna wrap, I'm either gonna wrap the cart in camo, like a uh, mossy oak camo, or I'm gonna paint the body. It's got some damage though. It's got some dents that I'm gonna have to fix if I paint it. Um, I might paint it to match the truck, but see, I've put the drop axle lift on it. I don't know if you can tell, if you even know what you're looking at, but if you do, that's the drop axle lift right there. I think it's a five inch lift. Put these new wheels and tires on it. Found these on Amazon and these things are really cool. I didn't realize how expensive golf wheels and tires were though. I'm telling you, if you get into this, if you've never done it before and you get into fixing up a golf cart and you want really nice rims, they're gonna cost the same amount as rims and tires for your vehicle. So just be warned that if you get into this, it's, I'm finding out it's a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. But one really cool thing is this right here. So I take my angle dry box right here and watch how cool this thing is. Look how perfect it fits. I mean, it fits the hole back there perfectly. And then like when we go to the water, I'll just be able to get to my fishing tackle or whatever I've got in here with no problem at all. How cool is that? And what I did here is I just took some aluminum angle 
and uh, this is like a triple, a one, two, three, uh, two sets of three, or whatever you want to call them, rod tubes, and I bolted them to that angle, and I mounted the angle on this back of the seat post, and now we can haul six rods, or seven, eight, nine, ten rods if you want to try to use these on the side of the angle cooler. But I thought that'd be pretty cool. But I've got a lot of big plans for this thing. We're going to add lights. I've got to do something about the inside. This is the seat cover. Uh, it's black. It's an actual staple on. It's going to replace this old vinyl one here. That's a new black vinyl. So it should look factory. But as you can see in here, I've got the batteries out and I've got to address all this rust in here. But the motor is good, the controller is good, so all we gotta do is replace the batteries, throw some lights on it, and pretty her up and she'll be ready to rock and roll. And I gotta do a windshield. But other than that, I think it's gonna be a really fun build. So you guys are witnessing the beginning of the camping car. How cool is that? So I hope you guys are as excited about this build as I am. I know some of you guys don't care about this and that's okay. I'm just gonna continue with the build. Uh, if you've got ideas, like I said, hit me up in the comments. I need all the inspiration I can. I want to build this as custom as I can, but I really want it to turn out cool. So I'm going to film as much of it for you guys as I can. Next week, we're going to be right back on the kayak camping trailer build. I'm waiting on some parts to come in for the next week's video. They should be here in the next day or two. So we'll be able to finish that up. And that's that may be the last video of the build for that trailer. Now I've got a lot of footage coming up for that trailer. We're gonna, I got a new diesel heater I wanna try out. So I've got some trips planned where we're gonna go get in the rooftop tent and test out the diesel heater. We're gonna take the kayak with us, do some really cool kayak camping. I've got a mountain trip planned where I wanna take the trailer with the dual sport bikes and we're gonna go do some camping, some bike riding, some stuff like that. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you're still watching, I really appreciate it. But if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? I upload weekly every Thursday at 2 o'clock p.m. Central Time, and I catch you guys next Thursday at 2 o'clock. Peace.